Hey everyone, this is Joey here, back again at ESC Plus, where today we are gonna to go to Armenia and talk about Tamar Caprelian. Now, Tam Tamar, or Tamar um, was already in Eurovision once before. She was part of the group Genealogy, which represented Armenia back in 2015. Um, but she's had a career before that, um, and that's what I want to talk about today is that she started in 2008 by winning a contest uh, held by Ryan Tedder and One Republic where she covered uh, the song Apologize and I guess there was some kind of contest to see who the best artist was covering the song and as a result of winning the contest she was introduced to executives at Interscope Records which One Republic was signed to, and she launched her music career from there. Tamar is a resident of, she is born American, and her parents are in um, Armenian descent. So she um, quickly jumped on the power pop kind of piano um, vibe that was really popular at, you know, late 2008 or nine. Um, sounds very much like Sarah Bareilles, a uh, little bit of, uh, Brooke White in there maybe. She really did have a really nice coffee house flavor to her to her vibe and um, Shortly after winning that contest was one of my favorite things about her and really how I discovered her was that she was featured in or her song was featured in um, an episode of the hills a very uh, Climactic episode of the hills. It's actually Lauren Conrad's last scene on the hills and if anyone loves the hills they will only love it for Lauren, I think. And when she left the show, that was pretty much it. The show was done as far as I was concerned. Um, and uh, Tamar, Tamar's um, song New Day is playing at the, uh, as, as Lauren exits the wedding that uh, Heidi and Spencer were having. And it's very anthemic. It's really, really great placement of the song for, for Tamar as well because it gave, it gave her a lot of exposure. And soon after that, she uh, released her debut album, which is called Sinner or a Saint. Um, of course, it was released through Interscope Records. And from there, she, um, you know, New Day did pretty well. It made, um, it made the adult top 40 um, in the US. So she was getting a lot of exposure. Um, and she continued on and um, in 2012, released an EP called California. Now, Tamar grew up partially in California, and this, this uh, EP pays a little bit of respect to that. Uh, let's take a listen here to the title track, California, which gave, this is actually what made me want to do this video, is that I was in my hotel and I heard this song come on, the elevator, and I was, I'm like, oh my God, I'm like, Tamar Caprillion, like, I, I forgot about this song, I forgot about her song from the hills and everything, and then it was like, it dawned on me for a minute, I'm like, Oh my God, she was the one that was like in, also in Eurovision and also um, tried to enter again into Eurovision, we're gonna talk about it in a minute. But California is, is just like this great song, uh, very, again, the piano is really what's driving the song. And she's got beautiful landscape in her video and she's just, this is just really fitting in that pocket of the singer songwriter, uh, female piano player, um, vibe and you can kind of just picture it being on the car when you're driving cross country or something it's just a great and she's trying to convince us to move to california so um she must really like it there so from there um fans will probably remember that tamar popped up yet again uh in 2018 when she tried to represent armenia through the uh, national selection process. So when she was chosen to, to be part of the genealogy group, that was um, kind of a, just a hand-picked selection. This was her attempt to go to Eurovision in 2018 to represent Armenia in Lisbon. And sadly, she didn't get far in the, in the, in the selection uh, uh, for Armenia. I was really, I was really hopeful. I thought, you know, this is somebody with amazing stage presence. She's got a his, history of um, performing, and and she's got a, you know it's previous Eurovision history, and this song it was great for me. I love um, it's called Poison Ariri, and it's just an ethno pop banger, and you can see 
Um, the staging here is, is featuring her very much as like this kind of like this royalty being brought in by these four men. And she is just serving it up immediately here. I, I love her dance moves. I was really, really passionate about this song. And I don't know how or why it fell flat to the Armenian public, but she ended up finishing sixth in the first semifinal and she didn't advance after that. So it was a total bummer. I was, I was convinced we were gonna see this on stage in Lisbon. Um, but you know, um, that's literally kind of the last we heard from Tamar. And um, we're just hoping that she um, is gonna be back in the studio soon or back on the road and maybe she'll get in touch and tell us a little bit about what she's got going on. Um, I know she's a resident of New York City now, so maybe she will find a way um, to uh, do some shows there and um, ESC Plus would, would be first in line. So thanks very much everyone for watching and we'll be back to you next week.